Hello, this is Thomas, K4SWL, and I'm out here today at Lake Norman State Park again uh, for a little Parks on the Air activation. I had some time today here in the middle of the day and uh, thought I'd spend a little time on some of the higher bands, uh, 20 meters and uh, both on phone and CW. Uh, the setup today is simply my NFED uh, PAR uh, EFT trail friendly NFED antenna, which is a 402010, and you can see it's running right up into a tree up here. Um, I use my arborist throw line to get it up there very easily. There is no tuner. This is, this is a resonant antenna, and I plan to stay on 40 and 20 and not hop over the 30. If I decide to do 30 meters, I can. I've got a T1 antenna tuner in here from Ellicraft that I could use to tune this up pretty easily to 30 meters, I'm sure. I also brought some lunch with me, uh, probably after I finish the activation. I've got some soup in here. It's 45 degrees or so here right now, uh, which is actually not too cold, uh, not nearly as cold as it has been up in the mountains, but it is incredibly windy today. Uh, and I'm hoping that the wind noise isn't too bad here on my phone. So we'll just have to see how that kind of works out. Uh, once again, I brought out my um, Yezu FT817. And I thought I'd do that because, well, I brought it along on this trip. And I enjoy operating it. Uh, the only tricky part is when I'm doing a video is there is no voice memory or CW memory keying. So I have to do all the talking and all the keying. I, there's no automatic anything. Uh, which means that um, <laughs> it'll be less talking from me, which may be a bit of a blessing, I guess. Um, I'm powering it today with a BioNO 15 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Way, way, way over the top for what I need. But uh, I actually used, uh, I also brought a little 3 amp hour battery with me that I've used now for two complete one hour long activations, basically. And it's held up really well, but I know that the voltage will start dropping on that today if I run close to an hour. I probably won't run quite that long today, but we'll just see how it goes. Again, I'm going to try the 20 meter band. I normally don't do that. Normally I'm doing my activations in the afternoon. And so, uh, and there's, <laughs> as you can see, there's a lot of cars here at the park today. It's Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So a lot of people, families are out and they're hiking and doing things. But you'll not see a lot of people here with doing picnics because it's not exactly ideal picnic weather. In fact, I don't know why someone would come out here. I mean, you'd have to be out of your mind to just sit around at a picnic table on a day like today with a so blustery. But that's the kind of thing I do. So <laughs> let's get started here. Um, I have internet access at uh, Lake Norman, which is really nice. So it's a good luxury. Unlike most of the state parks and things I go to where I don't have it, which means I can spot myself on the POTA network, which makes single sideband contacts possible, frankly. Let's get this fired up. We'll listen here for a little bit and see if um, anyone's on. It's showing 10.7 volts. Oh, let's see why that is. I wonder if I don't have something plugged in all the way. Or, let's see. These are kind of unnecessary, but yeah, I must have, uh, I've got a blown fuse in that panel. I need to replace that out. That's okay. I've got everything fused in the back anyway, so I've got extra, extra fuses. So, uh, let's see. I'm hearing some adjacent signals on this frequency. Let's see if they're below or above us. It's quiet enough today, otherwise. Okay, they're down around 315. I could maybe move up to 312 and get a little more distance from them. Well, maybe they're, I may go up to, let's see, 318. Let's see if anyone's there. I don't need to tune up. Hypothetically, this should be resonant anyway. Is this frequency in use? So maybe check the meter and see what kind of uh, is this frequency in use? This is K4SWL. Well, it's one to one. There's no reading whatsoever on there. Yeah, 
There we go, we'll turn that back to power. I do hear somebody maybe blowing on a microphone. Let's move that back up right on frequency. And I'll start calling CQ. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Now I've got my log over here, so I won't actually probably write much down while I'm doing single sideband. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. So this is putting out about 5 watts of power right now. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. And by the way, this is a uh, Andy uh, G7UHN's uh, buddy board that I'm testing here. Uh, it's not hooked up to run right now because I'm actually using the front faceplate. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. And basically what this does is it makes a display a little easier to see because the Yezu display is so tiny. But right now, where I'm sitting, it's fine the way it is. But if I were in the field, uh, this just comes off, it's hooked on with uh, Velcro. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. November 5, Sierra Kilowatt Tango. November 5, Sierra Kilowatt Tango. You've got a great signal about 5 by 7 here at park number 2740 QSL. Yeah, QSL, you're actually about a 5 2 here into uh, North Texas, uh, to me anyway, but uh, I'm running a mobile station. I'm actually uh, sitting in a park myself, but not a Poda Park. But uh, you have a great, uh, your signal is very clear, and uh, it's probably just uh, my antenna. I just have a ham stick and I'm running an FCDX 10. So anyway, uh, you're, like I said, 5-1 into uh, North Texas, uh, QSL. Roger, Roger, my friend. Thank you very much for that signal report. I'm actually operating a Yezu FT817 uh, here at Lake Norman State Park, so only 5 watts out. Um, and so I'm impressed that it's uh, doing as well as it's doing, especially coming into a mobile station. And I'm envious. I'd like to try out that FTDX10 uh, sometime. Oh, I love this radio. <laughs> and, and it is so funny when you... I mean, I can turn down uh, the, the, uh, the RF gain or turn it up, actually, and it'll just pull you right out because there's just nothing... Uh, nothing uh, uh, in this park is giving me any kind of uh, Q QF QSB, so it's it's just really quiet, and you're coming in really clearly, uh, just you know a low signal. But yeah, this is a wonderful radio. I'm enjoying the the heck out of it, and I just have it sitting on the seat next to me in the van. So anyway, 73, and enjoy your activation. This is N5SKT. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's good to hear. I hope to get my hands on one sometime and do uh, a review of it for um, uh, one of the radio magazines. Um, but uh, it's awfully fun working with this little FT817. It's a fun little radio, and it's nice to make a Yezu to Yezu contact, <laughs> I would say. So anyway, and just for your uh, knowledge, I'm using a, an NFED uh, 40, 20, 10 meter uh, antenna that's resonant. So I've got no ATU or anything. It's just five watts going straight into it. Hey, 73s, enjoy the rest of your week, and thank you very much for the contact. 73. QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. So that's great. He's using actually the latest Yezu radio, which got great uh, marks on um, Rob Sherwood's uh, receiver test data table. Um, so it's uh, great with close-in um, signals and that sort of thing. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. 
obviously. Uh, whiskey Delta 5, Charlie Sugar, Kilowatt. Whiskey Delta 5, Charlie Sugar, Kilowatt. You've got a big signal, 5x9 here at park number 2740QSL. I appreciate that. Uh, you got a good signal too. Did I, did I hear you tell the previous uh, station you worked that you were running 5 watts? Roger, roger, running 5 watts with the FT817, my friend. Okay, well, that was kind of reason I decided I better tune up over here and uh, give you a holler. I worked you on, uh, my log shows we worked this park on 20 meter CW, but uh, got a good signal for 5 watts. You're peaking 5.5 five a little bit over once in a while out here in the middle of Oklahoma. Thanks, Tom. Have a great day. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much for the good signal report, too. This is a new to me 817, so I appreciate knowing that the signal's making it out there pretty well. Hey, 73 is my friend. Great work, and y'all probably move down to CW here on 20 meters in a little bit as well. Maybe I'll see you there. 73s. Wow, you almost made it to 5.9. That's that go around at the top of the QSB. 73. <laughs> 73 is my friend. Have a great week. QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Alpha Gol 5, X-ray Foxtrot. Alpha Golf 5, X-ray Foxtrot, you've got a great signal about 5 by 8 here at park number 2740, QSL. Uh, QSL, you're coming in about a 4444 4, 4 in Oklahoma, Oscar. Roger, roger on that 4x4 into Oklahoma. Nice to know I'm getting out into Texas and Oklahoma today. Hey, 7.3s and have yourself a wonderful week. Hey, you too. Appreciate you out there. QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Victor Alpha 7, Alpha Quebec, you've got a great signal, almost 5x9 here at park number 2740, QSL. Uh, QSL, thank you for the 5.9. You're not too bad yourself, you're about 5x8, 58, roger. Roger, roger, 5x8, and what province are you in, my friend? I'm in British Columbia. <laughs> roger, roger, that's not bad for 5 watts, I really appreciate this. Getting a nice signal report today into British Columbia. I hope you're having good weather there today. Thank you for a new one, 73. Seven threes, my friend, and have a wonderful week. QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. It was a good decision to get on 20 meters today, wasn't it? <laughs> CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. It's awfully fun when things line up and you're able to do some distant contacts with really modest equipment. Uh, Philip, who's interested, one of the re uh, readers and uh, viewers of the YouTube channel, had asked about the 817. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Kilo Fox 5, Kilo Uniform Whiskey. Kilo Fox 5, Kilo Uniform Whiskey, you've got a brilliant signal, 5x9 here into Park 2740, QSL. QSL, Park 2740, whereabouts is that, Mike? Uh, this is actually, uh, so this is Tom, Tango Oscar Mike, and uh, it, this is Lake Norman State Park, which is just a little north of Charlotte, North Carolina, QSL. Roger, roger. I'm happy to hear that. I'm running 5 watts into a little in-fed uh, 40, 20, 10 meter antenna. Hey, 7.3s, and you have yourself a wonderful week, my friend. Thank you, you two. Enjoy putting the park on the air. KF5, KUW, 73. 7.3s, and have a good one. QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. 20, 20 meters doesn't always... Uh, treat me so nicely <laughs> but that's usually because it's later in the afternoon when I'm doing activations. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. 
The big takeaway here though is don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something with five watts of power. This is not the a most amazing propagation day. This is probably kind of an average one. And uh, if you're someone's listening for you, it's amazing what you can do. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. We got five contacts already in SSB. That's that's a good sign. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. So Philip, you'd asked about the 818, actually, which is the updated version of the 817. It's a very capable radio. At the end of the day, a lot of it has to do with your antenna anyway. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Another thing you can do to really optimize your signal in single sideband is to replace out your hand mic with a boom headset, like a nice Heil or maybe an even an NRAD boom set. Those can make a huge difference. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. If you optimize that your audio out, um, it makes your signal a little more punchy, uh, making the most of your five watts there. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for Parks on the Air. You know what? I think I'll move down to the um, CW portion of the band. Let's do that. Let's, let's find a nice plate. Uh, I'll just wait here for just a little bit. See if we hear anybody. Oops, I need to change my mode to CW. Thaw out my hand. Now I have to start writing down call signs, but normally when you're taking logs, uh, the two, the three things you really want to note most of the time is the call sign and then the state or province or country and then the, the time. The uh, region, the state, province, or country is not really terribly necessary. You don't actually submit that with your logs. I just like having it for my own reference. Um, but it's important to have the time and, and the call sign when you submit it. And I believe now the way they're doing the, the uh, Parks in the Air logs and the uploads, you really need to have a signal report somewhere in your logs when you submit them. Um, so my N3FJP software I'm using here on the, on the side, it does all that for me. And in fact, I never really change it to the actual uh, signal report. I don't think it cares what the signal report is. It just needs to have something filled in there. There we go with the QRL. I don't hear anything. Whoops, let's see, let's move back up to, no, I can, you know what, I'll move to 146. That's closer to where I was there. And let's see if I have my narrow filter on. I think I do. Maybe not. I did not have it on. <laughs> That's a, there's a big difference. So you can hear that signal. Now you don't see how far away they are. See, they were over a kilohertz away and you could still hear them. Here we go. Let's go ahead and start calling CQ. Ooh, that signal's strong. Let's move up here to 45. It's so nice having a resonant antenna. There's no tuning up, no nothing like that. It's more efficient and uh, And I love that part of it. Um, it's just, straight, you know, RF going straight into the antenna and really um, there's not a lot to take away what little power you have here when you're running QRP. But
see if I'm being spotted on the network here. Yes, I am being spotted on the network, so hopefully somebody will answer me eventually. actually used iambic keying that time and uh, pinched instead of using each individual paddle each time, but I'm not good at doing it. Yeah, it's awfully quiet here. So one of the things about the difference between CW and SSB or phone, for every probably 10 phone operators, I'm guessing there's one CW operator. So way more phone operators out there. At the same time, CW is more efficient and so it really uses your five watts to the max and you really do get kind of a bigger kind of footprint for your signal, in my opinion. California. Another band I could go to would be 10 meters. I think it'd be kind of tough today to get anyone on 10 meters. Let me try. I like trying things anyway, to be honest. <laughs> That's part of the fun of doing this.
I'd like to maybe get one more person on 20 meters. You know, a lot of people, a lot of subscribers, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of subscribers have uh, asked me about, you know, learning CW and saying that they're, you know, starting to think about doing it. And there's no reason you can't learn CW. I, I can tell you if I can learn CW, <laughs> anybody can learn CW. Um, let me go ahead and make one more call here. <clears throat> I'm not good at talking while I do this, though. talking while I do CW, but CW is, it's intimidating, I think, to a lot of people, but it's one of those things that once you kind of learn, it's not like learning a brand new language. I would say that it's like a language. Sometimes you have to send things a couple times in a row because of QSB or fading, and it could have faded down. It could have faded down right then. Seems like he just faded away there. He was kind of weak. him there on, uh, so I've worked him on single sideband, now I'm working him on CW. And I don't know if you could notice this, but when I didn't get his call, the, the sort of the first go around here, and I was writing it down, he slowed down a little bit. He probably knocked it down two or three words per minute, which was nice. I didn't, I really was just trying to get his number, but um, that made it, you know, so much easier. So I'm up to seven contacts now. Let's move down to the 40 meter band. So you can hear, this is what AM sounds like on the, it's a WWV in Fort Collins, Colorado. Temperature, 18 hours, 8 minutes, coordinated universal time. I think
think it sounds pretty good in AM. Let's see what it sounds like up. See, look how strong 15 is. Hmm. I wonder what 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 20,000 may sound like. <laughs> I'm taking this the long way. Let's try and move the mode here too. AM. You know, not hearing a thing on AM though. I mean on uh, uh, 20 megahertz. Huh, that's good to know. So uh, to finish what I was saying, CW is is really not that hard. It takes a little practice. Um, at first it hurts your brain just a little bit as you're <laughs> kind of associating each um, character you know, each combination of dits and daws to um, each letter. But the way I did it is probably not the best way, but it worked for me. Um, I learned CW up to five words a minute so I could pass my novice test uh, back when they had novice tests uh, in 97. And uh, I passed it and then I didn't use it for a long time. And I picked back up, relearned all the characters again. And after I associated every single, I knew all the characters of the alphabet um, all the letters of the alphabet, all the numbers, and most of the punctuation that I would use, like periods and um, question marks and that sort of thing. Whew, boy, it's getting windy. Um, once I did that, I hopped on the air, and my buddy K8RAT, who back then was AA8EB, he uh, very kindly hopped on there, and we would have a little chat um, almost every day. And he started out very slowly, and he eventually worked me up to about probably 13 words a minute or so. And, um, but then I lost it for a long time. I didn't, I didn't play radio on CW very much. I did more single sideband. And uh, when I started picking up CW again last year, I've, uh, my interpretation's gotten a lot better and uh, sending and everything I think's gotten a little, a little bit better than it was before. And that's just doing this stuff here in the parks, listening to call signs, sending reports, that sort of thing. I am by no means a great CW operator, in fact, you may hear people sometimes add extra stuff in. Uh, maybe they ask me a question and it throws me off guard because it's, it's not the normal exchange I have. <laughs> and sometimes I panic a little bit and I don't get those things, but that's okay. Um, it, it all improves with time and interpretation improves with time. And what I did too to help out is I would listen to things like the ARRL bulletin and I would just turn on the band. You know, when I'm at home, I would turn on the radio and just play someone rag chewing on 40 or 80 or 20 meters or whatever. And I would just listen to it and try to pick out words and just let my brain do the work. I didn't force myself to do anything. I just let my brain kind of do the work and it worked for me. Um, that may not be the best for everyone, but it certainly worked for me. Now let's see here. I may just do phone right now because I'm in the phone bands. Let's see if anybody's here. Hmm, I'm hearing a carrier there. There could be a broadcaster somewhere around there. Let me move further down. Oh, you know what? Let's look for park to park contacts. Let's see if anybody's on. Let's see if anybody's on 40 meters right now. 7282. Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, park to park. Roger, Roger, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, and I'm at park number 2740, 2740 in North Carolina, where you're about a 5x8 or 5x9. Okay, in Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, do I have that correct? You're about 5'5 five five on me, go ahead. Roger, Roger, my friend, Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, you got it right there. 
Roger, the park is 2740-2740, Lake Norman State Park, QSL. Thank you, sir. You have enjoy the rest of your activation. Okay, I'm gonna put him in the logs. <clears throat> it's one of the luxuries of having um, one of the luxuries of having um, internet access is that you can look up these things when you're out here <laughs> and find people kind of easily. Let's see if there's anybody else on. Okay, 7225. Now they are a little close though. They're at, I don't know if I'll be able to hear them or not. They are in South Carolina, which is awfully close for 40 meters this time of day. Yeah, I'm not hearing. There's someone in Rhode Island on 7197. Yeah, let me check them later. Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, park to park, park to park. Roger, roger, the call sign is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, Kilo 4, Sugar Whiskey Lima, Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima, QSL? Negative. It's Kilo 4 Sugar Whiskey Lima. Lima, Lima. London, Lima. QSL? Park number is 2740-2740. And this is Kilo 4 Sierra Whiskey Lima. Two seven four zero two seven four zero twenty seven forty twenty seven forty two seven four zero QSL. That happens sometimes, and I've been on his end before. He's uh, probably, uh, he may be running a little more power than I am right now. I'm running only five watts. Into Rhode Island, that's a, that's a hard, that's a, that's a, it's a challenging jump there. There's a lot of noise. You could hear, um, you can hear, you can hear stations on either side. There's a station there. And Anytime you have that kind of interference or QRM, it can be really challenging when you're running, you know, five watts. It can be very challenging. And I've been on his end before where I've had a very, very weak park station trying to do a park-to-park -park contact with me, and I just could not pull them out of the noise. Um, and uh, one of the things you, you have to do is just repeat over and over and over and over again. Because what, what you're doing when you repeat is you're allowing that QS Baker, the, the band to fade and go down, and then you want to ride the fade back up so that your signal rises up. And uh, he's right, we can try a little bit later and conditions may change and I may be able to work him and I'll, I'll try to remember to do that. Um, for the moment though, I think I'll go ahead and uh, find a clear spot. Let's see if 7188 is taken. Yeah, there's a station really close to there. See if anybody's here. <clears throat> and I will spot myself. Well, 
it's a nice tuning up place, isn't it? <laughs> Is this frequency in use? Is this frequency in use? This is K4SWL. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. But yeah, sometimes when you have fading like that, you just have to be patient, right, wait for the signal to kind of come up, and it'll eventually go back down again, and <laughs> come back up again, and go back down. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. I only need two more contacts to have 10, and I know I can get that. Um, and CW here on 40 meters. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. Kilo November 4, Papa, Papa, Delta. Kilo November 4, Papa, Papa, Delta. You've got a great signal about 5x9 here at Park 2740, QSL. QSL, QSL, I got you at a 5555 in North Florida. Thank you very much for that 5x5 five five in North Florida. Thank you very much, and 7.3s, uh, have a great week. 7.3, have a good activation. QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. Kilo 3, Echo Lima Golf. Kilo 3, Echo Lima Golf. You're about a 5x7 here at Park number 2740, QSL. Roger, roger. Thank you very much for that signal report from Pennsylvania. You have a wonderful week, my friend, and uh, seven threes. Seven threes. Good luck with your activation. QRZ. This is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima. Parks on the air. So I've got my 10 now. Yay. CQ Poda, CQ Poda. This is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. I'll call here maybe five more minutes. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. Most park activators spend way more time on a frequency than I do. <laughs> My time is just more limited than other people's. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. Ooh, that soup is starting to look good. <laughs> I'm going to have to pour myself some soup here in a second. CQ Poda, CQ Poda, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima calling CQ for parks on the air. So, when you go out and you buy a radio like this, if you're just trying to make random contacts calling CQ... Kilo 4, Kilo Alpha Lima, you've got a big signal, uh, at least 5 by 9 here in park number 2740, QSL. QSL, 5 9 Georgia, thanks for the YouTube videos, over. Hey, thank you very much, I'm really glad that you like the videos, and uh, hope you're enjoying Parks on the Air. Thank you, are you on a 705 today? No, uh, today I'm using the FT817ND, and I'm actually uh, making a video of this as well. I'm here at Lake Norman State Park where it's kind of blustery, but a really pretty day. QSL, QSL. Well, I'll follow you in both places, on the park and on YouTube. 73. <laughs> Seven threes, and thank you so much. You have yourself a wonderful week, okay? QRZ, this is Kilo 4, Sierra Whiskey Lima for Parks on the Air. QRZ? What the hell? 
This is one of the things that you find. I'm not going to listen to anybody else. I'm going to move down. Uh, one thing that you will find, and it's really frustrating, this may not have been the, someone doing this, but occasionally with Parks on the Air, I've been out in the field, and I don't know, people who do nets and rag shoes, and they have regular frequencies they meet up, they really hate it when a Parks on the Air activation starts happening, and people are calling CQ, and there's a lot of activity on, on their frequency. <laughs> it's not really their frequency, but they get used to it, and... Um, People will talk into the mic and, uh, um, you know, say things. And those are what we would call lids, um, which are just basically people that are, I don't know, just being rude. And you have to ignore them. I mean, one thing that I do, I was ready to move frequencies anyway here. But if he would have uh, kept talking, if he was trying to interfere, and maybe he wasn't, um, I would have uh, probably uh, just continued on. That's what I've done before. I don't acknowledge anyone because if you acknowledge someone that's acting up, that just encourages them to keep it up. So um, occasionally I'll move frequency if I just get tired of it, but I won't acknowledge them. And uh, again, that person was just chopping in right at the very end and I was ready to tune off frequency anyway and go down here and play a little CW before I leave. And uh, I know my friends, uh, I've got a couple friends that are probably looking for me to do a CW. Uh, a little CW here on 40 meters. So I thought I'd maybe hop in. Let's listen to the frequency here for a bit and see if anybody's around. Uh, but don't acknowledge, uh, what do they say? Don't feed the trolls, sort of like that. Unfortunately, in our wonderful ham radio world, there are people who are jerks on the air. And I don't even like to admit that because frankly, I think ham radio is just such an awesome community of people. The parks on the air folks, the soda, um, summits on the air and um, all these people that do these outdoor activities and QRP and um, all the debts. I mean people tend to be very courteous but you get just on occasion you get jerks on the air. That's unfortunate. Jerks on the air. Now that would be a Joda? No. That would be Jamboree on the air. <laughs> anyway let's see here. Okay I'm not hearing anybody anyway. So now I'm on 40 meters CW. I'll keep that in mind. One thing when you're in a park doing CW, if people are walking by, it attracts attention. Maybe people think I'm some kind of spy. <laughs> if I am a spy, I'm pretty conspicuous. See if it's spotting me. All right.
Okay, let's see. He's actually lower than that, but I gave him a... Okay, that was Florida. Let's see here. My hands are cold. Let me pull this apart so I can make another notepad, but I'm not gonna go too much longer here. I've got 15 people. This is not a rare park, so I don't need to hang around for a long time. You know what? Let me not go much longer here because I've got 15 in the logs. I've set out to do what I want to do today and my soup is calling me and I'm not going to eat soup and slurp it here with a video going. So anyway, um, I hope everyone's had a good time. Thank you so much for uh, sitting here with me today. Um, I know these videos aren't for everyone. Like I always say, it's they're long format, but again, there are no advertisements in my um, videos. I don't allow YouTube to do ads in my videos or anything like that. Um, I am uh, going to get uh, uh, some other kind of camera to do this. Um, I'm looking at a Mavic uh, camera of some sort um, that's a small one that's portable and uh, that should improve things uh, once I uh, do that. It'll certainly have a little bit better battery life than my iPhone has. Um, if you decide that you want to support me somehow, you can through Patreon. I'll try to put links in the video. Uh, the Patreon account's actually for the SWL post, which is my shortwave blog. And uh, it also works for QRP or as well, and for the videos here. Um, I also have a coffee club, uh, coffee contribution that you can do if you feel like it. But as I say each time, if uh, you uh, have money that you need to spend on other things, uh, getting yourself on the air, uh, getting your license, any of those things, don't worry about it. Uh, this is all free. This is just something I enjoy doing, 
and uh, it pleases me to no end to think that my uh, videos could even in some small way encourage people to get on the air and play a little radio outdoors. Um, I really do think this is what it's all about in amateur radio and um, is sort of the most fun thing for me. So anyway, uh, thank you very much um, and uh, everyone enjoy your week and uh, seven threes for now.